Be me, simple orc in the tribe. My mother was a human. She was always so unhappy. Why was she always chained up? I was bigger than my brothers and sisters, so weird birds or monsters wouldn't mess with me. Eventually feel bad because they get stolen, try to protect them. Older orcs frown on me and some pick on me for it. Grow older and realize my dad's the chief. That's cool. Oh, there's five others just like me? Father pays none of us attention. Mother is so kind despite being so skinny and frail. I bring her extra food when the chain holders aren't looking. Mother keeps telling me her human stories. I like the one she tells about Grandpa owning a tavern. She gets sad at all those stories, so I don't ask about them anymore. One night I wake up to Mum shaking me. What's she doing off her chain? I begin to help her out of the town. One of my brothers sees me. One of the ones I saved. I give him a nod and he goes back to sleep. Me and Mum make it out of the village. I'm sure they'll come looking for us. It would be shameful if they didn't. What now, Mum? Now we keep going. You're too good to stay with them. What's good? That's what the heroes in my stories are, Grocky. Maybe you'll be a hero one day. Recall the stories my mother told me of paladins. I wish I was one of them. Me and Mum stay on the run for days or weeks. I don't know, I can't count. Many moons later I grow bigger as I mainly hunt for us. She keeps heading in one direction. No idea why. She tells me she was trying to get home with me. That Grandpa would welcome us back. That I could even see a tavern. One night while I'm sleeping, I hear a big ruckus. Grab my boinking rock. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like that, like, you can't call it a fucking boink. Boink. Oh, like that, I read my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my boinking rock. It boinks animals good. Pause when I spot the massive form of my father at the cave entrance. No shit. Out of fear, I avoid eye contact as he strides in and smiles at me, pats my head before walking over to my mother's sleeping form, stumps on her head, crushing it to a red paste. In this moment, I felt such rage, such hate and rage that I knew Mum's story of paladins were false. Gods were mean if they had allowed this to happen. All I could feel was pure rage and hate. Yet, I do not act knowing Father would kill me. He brings me back to the tribe where I'm forced to stay for the next few years. My rage only boils at how I see even my grunts of siblings become far worse. All of them are horrid people. The hate and rage simmer over years. Eventually go out in my first raid with the boys. As we loot and pillage some random village, I just feel guilty. I don't want to kill humans, my mum was one. Why am I not brave enough to fight dad? Return with slaves, something inside me is straining. I befriend one of the slaves, a small human boy. The days pass and I began to tell the boys stories my mother told me. I may not be smart, but at least I have a good memory. The boy likes him. I keep sneaking him food and such, going without at times to keep him fed. Other orcs notice it, but no one comments on it, due to the fact that, besides my father, I was the second largest orc. Finally... Half a year passes and I learn the boy's name. Tertius. An orphan when we stole him. Come home from haunting, having really gone through some growth spurts. I even tried to make the boy some toys with bones. Realise the boy's not in the slave pens. What? Begin looking around the village. Almost fearful. I find the boy. He's being roasted over a campfire with some of my siblings, old and young, drinking and cheering over their own feats. That deep-seated rage grew, something inside me breaking that day, as all I could see was bright red. I picked up my battle axe, and I began to swing and scream. First brother's head came off, then my sister's, and then I ripped open the throat of another. No sound, no screams, just hate and rage as I finally snap. More and more orcs come out of their huts to see what the fuck is going on. I chop through them too. Father finally comes out and spots me. He screams something at me, but I cannot hear. Simply throw down my axe and tackle him. After a long, drawn-out struggle, I snap his neck. I stand up, panting and exhausted, the orcs around me shouting and cheering. For a split nanosecond, I thought they were happy about this, and that it was only my dad who was a dickhead. They began to shout out, New Chief, and I feel sick. 
I simply take my great axe and begin walking off, heading into the harsh wilderness alone. My name is Grocky, and I hate orcs. I know gods do not care, and I wish to see a tavern. I am good like Mama said. I will do good like Mama would have wanted. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to talk to you about our new affiliate, Reroll. Reroll is a D&D 5th edition character builder app. Now, everyone needs a character sheet app for a tabletop game, but what makes Reroll stand out above all the rest is its character art. I personally find the character art really, really cool. It has this beautiful retro pixel art aesthetic, and they are continually adding new races and items, so you can customise it whatever way you want. They currently have 14 supported races, over 150 weapons, and over 400 pieces of armour you can mix and match from to really make your character come to life. And the best part, you can have your own little cute companion, like a little baby penguin, a flying kitty, a stupid looking pug, or my personal favourite, a little corgi. And the best thing about Reroll, it has a free version with limited character art, so you can try before you buy and see if you like it or not. We personally think it's an amazing app that will just improve your overall enjoyment of tabletop role-playing games. Reroll is on Apple, Android, Desktop, and if you use our coupon code NECKBEARDY at checkout, you get 10% off. It's a great affiliate that we think you guys will love, but enough of that. Let's get back to the video. One day after weeks of walking, I make it to a small village. I enter it and pause as the villagers look at me with suspicion. Simply smile and wave and get directions to the tavern. One of the villagers spits at my boots. I make it to the tavern and take my seat. I look at the bartender, an old man who sat there glaring at me. I would like one drink. We don't serve your kind. I simply take out a handful of the gold coins I took from father and place it on the table. I was so thirsty. And the more I looked at this old man, the more he reminds me of mother. Was this man my grandpa? He serves me a mug of beer and I sip on it in silence. If this man was my grandpa, and this was his tavern, I didn't know what to say. I finish my drink and simply start walking out. The glares watching me slowly leave. One guard stops me. I hold on right there. Where did you get that money pouch from? I stole it from my father. (laughs) I stole it! (laughs) I stole it from my father. I killed him and took it. The man is unimpressed, and despite my size, he still places me under arrest. I don't want to cause issues, so I came with. Places me in a cell. Wait a second. Comfy hay bale? Bucket to poop in? And a bucket of water next to it? This didn't seem so bad. I live like a king despite the lack of food. It's comfy. Hear screams outside. Some orc bursts down the door to the jail and pauses as he spots me. Oi! What's your name there, buddy boy? <laughs> That rage comes back. Break the bars and use it to spear him to death. Realise the small cell and this guard barracks was all the town had in terms of fighting. I steal back my battle axe, my coins, and some of the now dead guards coins before heading outside. Small orc warband looting food and killing folks. Go silent as I throw the makeshift javelin into one of them, drawing their attention. Begins to slaughter them when a small halfling begins to sing. Hey, I feel better. Begin chopping their heads off faster. Townspeople are confused as I stand amidst a pile of orcs. Good job there, buddy. What's your name? Grocky. What's yours? Happy. What? You know, happy. That's what I've always been. Talk some more. Already best friends with Happy. He explains his grand plan to become a chef. Asks me what I want to become. Looks at the tavern across the street. I want to own the best tavern ever. Sounds great. Why don't you explore with me? You can find all sorts of cool ideas for taverns walking around the world. Sure. It was better than seeing my possible grandpa again. We began to head out. Along the way we see all sorts of cool stuff and fight some goblins. We end up eating them. What? Who the fuck (laughs) eats a goblin? Well, he's an orc. Right. right. (laughs) Eventually we reach another town. A coastal one this time. Happy has tried to expand upon my jokes. The only one I have learned from him is what my ex-wife used to say. Murder hobo alert. (laughs) (laughs) Finally, reach the village and try out my ex-wife jokes. None of them work and Happy saves us from being kicked out of an inn. Eventually spots some sort of pirate elf. 
They spot Happy and begin to make a request for my friend to sing a song. Nothing wrong about this. Happy takes front and centre and attracts all sort of attention. Don't realise the pirate used this chance to steal some folks wallets. This pirate guy seems cool. Hey, Mr Pirate, what happened to your ship? It's Luna. And second, I lost it. Because of an accident. I believe it. Wanna see a magic trick? Not sure how this can turn bad. The fucking elf turns into an animal. You! <laughs> this leads them to joining the group. Out of character, they were a PC and we used the weak excuse to get this most likely evil person to come with us. Be me, Happy, and Luna the Druid Pirate Elf. Realise I need money for a tavern, so we begin taking jobs. We take a job to discover what's happening in a small village and the traders heading to and from the nobles' village. Battle Axe needs blood, and my anger issues need to be vented. We reach the village and begin our investigation. We quickly pin the recent attacks on a manticore. We begin to get into an argument with a local cook. Happy thinks he's the better chef, and we think we can cook something better. We arrange a small competition. Me, the druid, and the halfling team up and kill the manticore. I roll high on my survival check. We get some good cuts. We begin to cook and compete. Barely lose the competition, but we get delicious rations. Paladin comes barging out of temple, demanding to know who stole the offerings to Helm. Happy glances at Luna. Grocky is clueless, thus he proposes. Maybe a bad guy stole it. We need to go to crumps the surrounding woods of all the baddies. <laughs> Minotaur agreed. We begin to head towards the forest where we discover webs. Weird. Slowly piece together, we didn't catch the right victim. We go into some cave and find a handful of spiders and slaughtered traders. We clear it out rather easy. The paladin is a massive tank. The paladin pauses and says, Perhaps I should come with you. Although, I wonder who stole the coins. Druid gets really sweaty, but we don't notice it. Shrugs it off and begins pondering if I can eat the spiders. Happy suggests is no. I think yes. I forgot to collect bug meat for later. We end up getting the paladin to join our party. Cliff the minotaur paladin. Grocky the nearly seven foot tall orc barbarian. DM let me have the extra height. Six foot eight. Happy the halfling bard. Luna the druid elf pirate. One of these folks may be evil, but they quickly become family to Grocky. Well, I actually really enjoyed that one. Normally, I'm, yes, not, I'm not really the biggest fan of uh, barbarians in general because it always, bol- it always to me, boils down to big, stupid, angry barbarian smacks stuff with lock. Boink, boink. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. You know, and t- I don't know. It feels like that's all people really do with them. It's either that or they do like Conan, you know yeah. what I mean? And even then, Conan, it kind of feels like it's overdone at this point. Like, yeah. the barbarians to me are just, they're too one-dimensional. Um, but this one was really good and I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a really interesting take on the whole half work thing because let's be honest um, half works well I'm not going to get into the whole thing with half works <laughs> yeah. but like you guys uh, it, it should really be spoken about more often oh yeah and while we were <laughs> reading this thread we noticed somebody said include me in the video neck beardy so <laughs> yeah, you're in the, the video <laughs> yeah there you go you, you made it into the video not bad anonymous not bad <laughs> not bad made it all and that's actually one of the nicer ones we normally get <laughs> <laughs> if I be honest with you see whatever you're typing neck beardy into teach you it's like oh, uh, oh not that faggot <laughs> oh, 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 fucking kill yourself oh, you know <laughs> which you know what do you expect you know but that's nice that's it's nice <laughs> yeah exactly you know what I mean? don't take anything seriously for god's sake but no i really enjoyed this one um i thought it was actually really cool um i wouldn't mind actually doing a barbarian like him i think he's a good inspiration for me anyway because as i say it's always filled tell us down below do you play your barbarians stupid like the, pro- the, the barbarian the, the problem is Intelligence is going to be the dump style. Yeah. So you play. It's it makes sense to make yeah make it your dump start because intelligence just doesn't work if you're playing as a barbarian. You don't need it. So leave that to someone else. 
Um, it's kind of a difficult one, you know what I mean? But no, let us know if you've had any like really good barbarians that you've played with, or, you know, give me examples down below. There's been a few. Remember that one we did about the orc that did the intimidation with the wood? Oh, yeah. And he told no, the wood to get built. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really funny. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was very different anyway, and uh, it, it gave me the feels in some point. It feels. They give me the feels. So like, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Bye.